The creators of Kinemaster just released a brand new app called Spring, which makes it easier for casual creators to edit videos. And today we'll be reviewing the app, comparing it to other editors like Kinemaster and CapCut, and also answering the question, why would an editing app that's already established release another editing app? Let's dive into it, and special thanks to Kinemaster for sponsoring this video. Now, why would they make two different apps? Well, you have Kinemaster, which is a pro video editor, has a lot of advanced features, and is more targeted towards long form content with the horizontal timeline. The problem though, is beginners come into video editing and they open this editing app, and all of a sudden there's all these advanced features and they get overwhelmed, and especially they might not even use half of those features because they're just getting started. And now we have the rise of short form content which is really difficult to edit if your editor is in horizontal mode. And that's where Spring comes in. They are trying to make a lightweight video editor that casual social media creators can use, that's friendly to vertical content, and then also just has the essential effects you need to be able to get a video out. And let's actually hop into the app and take a look at how easy it is to edit a video. So right when you open the app, you're gonna be taken to your project list, but something else I wanna show you is the template section down here. And if you actually open this up, there'll be a whole bunch of templates that you can use to help speed up the process of making your video. Here's actually one that was done by the Spring app themselves. This is an official template, and I can easily click mix and be able to use this. Um, and also to note, if you go over to that Spring account, they have tutorials over here, more templates and things like that. Um, so definitely check out this section. This is super useful and could easily help speed up your content creation process. But for now, we're gonna hop back over to edit and we're just gonna create a new video and kind of go through the process of editing it. So we'll click create new here. And then from here, I can easily sort my footage either by all or by video or photo. I'm just gonna add a clip in here. All right, and then I can click X here and I've got my timeline, I've got my preview screen, and then I have all my settings here at the bottom of the screen. Trimming your videos is super easy. You just gotta scroll to the spot where you're about to start talking. And if you want to scroll ahead faster, you can always pinch with your fingers on screen to zoom out, and then you're able to scroll ahead a lot faster. And then click on the video, click split, and you can just delete the backside here, um, and easily go through and cut out all the silent parts where you're not talking. So I'm just going to scroll ahead to where I finished talking here. I can easily click on the video, click split, scroll ahead to the next part where I start talking, click split again, and then just delete this middle section where I'm thinking about my next line here. I can click delete, and there we go. I've now connected those clips together. Now, once you're done trimming your video, you're gonna find a lot of the essential effects here at the bottom, like adding an overlay. If you wanna add a, a photo uh, over the top of your video, audio, uh, adding text, auto captions, stickers. There are some fun effects in here and AI tools that we'll look at in a bit. The ability to record a voiceover and then the asset store, which I think is one of the coolest parts that is built here into Spring because you have all of these different assets and things you can add into your videos. So for example, in effects, you got a whole bunch of different effects in here like uh, the heartbeat, the zoom in effect, adding camera shake and things like that. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different unique transitions, like this zoom slide transition I think is really cool. And you can preview it, and then you can easily download this. I can back out of here, I can click download, and poof, I've downloaded this transition and added it uh, to my effects for transitions. Uh, I've got stickers in here, which includes text and title effects. This is something I haven't seen a lot of the other editors add in, is all of these different assets that you can download and just add to the project. And some of these are super cool. Like for example, this like light text effect where you'll get this like lens flare that goes across your text, I think is super cool. Here are some like documentary style text effects that you can add onto your videos. Like there's literally tons of these in here. And then you also have just stickers themselves that you can add in. They have music, they have shorts music, they have sound effects, they've got uh, clip graphics and things like that you, you can add in in different photo frames. They've got videos, like if you want the audio bumps or you want just different background videos that you can add in. They've got images, they have fonts that you can add in. They have a whole font library in here. They've got AI effects built into here. They've got advanced filters. 
They have other plugins like the auto captions for different language or even the noise remover. They even have overlays in here. Like they've got explosions, an old projector, like putting a whale in. Like they have all these really cool things. They also have green screen effects built in that you can easily just drag and drop and add to your project. There's a lot in there. So make sure when you're trying out Spring to go to that asset store and explore around in those effects. There's a lot of cool edits you could make with the things they have in there. Now for this current video, I'm gonna add some text in. So I'm gonna click text here and type it out. And I'm gonna do the reality of YouTube, click check. Um, and then I can easily go over to fonts here and select the font. I actually downloaded some from the asset store. Uh, so I have some like, I like this ASAP one. I'm gonna click check on that. I think that's a really nice font. I'm gonna put that down here. And then scrolling over, I'm gonna do an animation here for this coming on. So I'm gonna do an in animation. We're just gonna do like a slide right. I think that looks nice. And then we'll also do an out animation. Uh, we'll just do a fade out for that. And then scrolling over a bit more, I'm gonna go to fixing my text settings here. Uh, I'm gonna add some glow. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna do a black glow to make my text stand out, 100% opacity. Uh, and then I'm going to adjust this here, make it spread out. I think that looks great. And then if I want, I can control the duration of this text effect just by dragging it. Um, and let's take a look at this. Most people don't want success on YouTube enough. They'll post 5, 10, 20. That's great. That's a great hook. So if someone's scrolling past, they'll see the text there. They'll hear the first words. That might be enough to hook them in and keep watching. We can also add some auto captions. So I can easily click on this. Uh, I added English as an auto caption here. So we're going to click generate. Give that a few seconds. And then for these captions, I just want to customize them a bit more. I don't want to go with this font. So I'm going to switch it back over to ASAP here. And then I'm also going to click edit on this. And I'm gonna click the return key just so that way it fits on screen here, like so. Click check. And then I can also increase the size here, like so. And just to show you briefly what that looks like, I can click play here. They'll post five, 10, 20, maybe if they're lucky, 50 videos. And then I can easily go through, like if the, if the captions go over, I can just click the return key on each of these and make sure everything fits in how I like. Now you can also make adjustments to the clips themselves. So if I click on this video here, you'll see basic controls like the volume, the speed, if you wanna reverse it. But there's some other things in here too, like pan and zoom, which is right here. If I click on this, I can easily have, this is the starting point of the video. I can click to the end of the video and adjust the clip a little bit. Like I can do a zoom in, just pinching with my fingers. And now it's going to do that zoom in across the clip. No need to really mess around with keyframes and stuff like that. You just literally set it right here. And now when I click play, we're gonna see a slow zoom in happen as I'm talking here. You'll also find filters and adjustments for color grading and adjusting the look of your videos. Uh, there's also magic remover. You can remove the background for free unlike other apps that are now making it paid. So I can easily click on this, give it a few seconds to remove the background. There we go, background removed, and it did actually a really good job of doing that. And then I could either make this an overlay and put something in the background as the main clip, or I could just click background down here and I could choose something like a color if I wanted to. You know, I could go for the, the apple look and put something white behind me. It's also a very flattering face there, Colin. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there we go. Now I have a white background behind me. Maybe I want text or something. You know, that could be a cool effect. But as you can see, they have a lot of just the essential things. Like, you're going to add text. You might add some auto captions. You might remove the background from your video. You may want some fun stickers or green screen effects or things like that. Like, basically, the essential things are here without getting too complex. And once you're done editing, all you have to do is go up to the export button here, and then you can choose your resolution, frame rate, and then quality. There is a watermark outro, but that can either be removed by watching an ad or by getting the premium version of Spring. This also gets you access to 2K and 4K exports, no ads, unlimited duration, unlimited premium assets, and 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. And when you compare the cost of a yearly plan for Spring compared to the yearly cost of CapCut, Spring is over 50% less than CapCut, so it makes it really beginner friendly 
even if you don't have a huge budget to spend on editing software. And another quick note is that right now, ByteDance, the owners of CapCut, are facing a potential ban of the app TikTok, which could carry over to some of the other apps that they have in the United States, like CapCut, which if you paid for an annual subscription of CapCut and then they ban it, I don't know how that all is going to work. So definitely keep that in mind as well. But what if you want to create both long form and short form videos? Well, the cool thing is that with a KineMaster subscription, you actually get KineMaster Premium and Spring Premium in the same subscription. So you can have the best of both worlds with a simple editor for short form content. You can easily get a video out as well as an advanced video editor for long form videos. And even though you're getting both editing apps, it's still less than CapCut is per year. Another thing worth mentioning is that KineMaster and Spring are both heavily privacy focus. Everything is done on device, including the AI effects, the auto captions. It's not being sent to some cloud for, for processing. Your videos, photos, and projects all stay on your device. And when you delete them, they are gone forever. So my final thoughts on this app, I think it's a decent beginner editor. You're getting to remove the background for free, which is apparently becoming something of the past, which is nice. There's not a permanent watermark on screen, which is awesome. You're getting that app asset store with all those different cool effects and things like that, which I think is a huge bonus. And I also like that it's priced for the casual user. So you're getting the essential effects. You're not paying extra money for certain effects that you're never even going to use to begin with. I definitely recommend trying it out, seeing if it's right for you. The link to both KineMaster and Spring are going to be linked in the description. And if you're looking for a more advanced tutorial on some of the different effects and things you can do inside of Spring or KineMaster, comment down below. Let me know that you would like to see that.